Hello viewers, we'll be going over WTI crude oil. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, how we find the models, and the forecast model for WTI. So back to the technical analysis. Today we're down 13 basis points on the one hour chart. We are slowly approaching to negative MACD. As for the four hour chart, we were at oversold RSI, and now we're approaching to positive MACD and we are facing a resistance on the 50 moving average on the 4-hour chart. If we expand that to the daily chart, we are encountering resistance at the 9-day moving average, this blue line, and we just got off of oversold RSI, and we may see a convergence on the daily MACD. However, we do need to break above the 9 moving average and also the 18-day moving average and I do see the 18-day moving average acting as resistance reason why we have past support around February to February 12th and we're around a price of $49.80 and since we're below support that that now act as our immediate resistance and for support if we do head down lower we did made immediate support around March 2nd at the price of $43.50. So that is our first immediate support. If we were to reverse down lower, that price movement is roughly around 8% to the downside. And to hit the resistance, that price movement is roughly around 6% to the upside. So back to the day-by-day -day probability model. As the days progress to the seventh day, we see a 60% chance for WTI crude oil to climb higher between 0 and 7%. On the other hand, we have a 20% chance for WTI crude oil to fall between 0 and negative 7%. And on the extreme case, we have a 20% chance for WTI crude oil to fall between negative 7% and negative 14%. So let's head to the day-by-day -day forecast for WTI. Again, this model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. So we have one day out, two days out, three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is the best match to the current trend. Right here, we have the current trend, and below is the trend that I believe is the best match. This trend dates back to April 5th, 2011 to May, I should say, June 30th, 2011. So let me point out why these two charts are similar. So what we have here in the beginning of the current trend, we average above the middle Bollinger Band, and then we proceeded to dip further and average below the middle Bollinger Band. Next, we see a slight reversal near the upper Bollinger Band and we see an, once more we continue to average down right at this instance and right near the very end we may see a reversion to the mean back to the middle Bollinger Band so we have those targets there in the trend in question we see a sim similar pattern here as well we average above the middle Bollinger Band next we Proceeded to average down, touching and nearing below the bottom Bollinger Band. And then next we see it touch the upper Bollinger Band or get near the upper Bollinger Band at several days. And then next we average below the middle Bollinger Band. And finally we revert back to the mean right towards the very end. So we have those points there. So what we have is one, two, three, four, five points. We also have one, two, three, four, five points. So there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. So the model that we just examined was April 5th, 2000, 2011 to June 30th, 2011. Back then, WTI crude oil continued to climb around 1.7%. So if we head back to the day-by-day -day probability model, it coincides with this standard deviation 
we have a 60% chance for WTI crude oil to climb between 0 and 7% in the next coming days. Again, this model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.